Oftentimes, guns used to commit violent crimes in the Houston area may have been stolen from a vehicle. Yeah, and the message from ATF Houston tonight is never leave your weapon in your car. Jason Miles live with more on the astounding number of weapons left in vehicles and how gun owners can help. Jason. That's right, Lynn. We often see thieves target cars and trucks and parking garages just like this one. In many cases, they're looking for guns. And all too often here in Houston, officials say they find them. Taking aim at a surge in gun thefts. ATF Houston saying the last 12 months may have been worse than ever. Just in the city of Houston, Almost 4,000 guns were stolen from vehicles. Special agent in charge Fred Milanowski took part in a press conference today announcing new initiatives by the feds to help communities like Houston combat violent crime. He says data shows guns swiped from cars and trucks are very often used to commit other crimes. That's not the only way they're getting guns, it is, but it's a significant way and it's a way that public, everyone in the public can step up today and make a difference. Milanowski says if you think leaving a gun hidden in your vehicle is good enough, it's not. Crooks know to look in glove compartments or in the center console. And Houston police told us in a previous story about how stickers like this can tip them off. You know, having your little sticker back here on the back lets you know that, you know, you're gun friendly and uh, somewhere in this truck, you know, you're going to have a, there's going to be a gun stored in there. Lock it in the trunk if you have a car or get a small gun safe for your truck. You can even use a cable lock to secure a gun to your seat or other immovable part of the car. Or keep it on you. Keeping guns out of the hands of criminals is the key. And some wonder if guns are stolen so they can be brought to one of those buyback events happening in Houston and Harris County since no questions are asked. That's something as we've reported the DA's office and others have raised concerns about. Reporting live tonight, Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News. Mia. Jason Miles detailing it all. Thank you.